Okay, hey, um, I'm going to show you today how you can make this tool in all the mods aid. I will go into detail which mods you need, so maybe you can even do it in another mod pack which has the same mods. Um, the mods you will need are Silent Gear and Apotheosis. Those are the two most important ones. There are, I think, sm some smaller ones which can make it to the stage where it is right now, but those two are the most important. Um, and you can already see uh, on the left side what happened. I will quickly showcase it again. This tool is crazy. So uh, actually, um, performance-wise, it can even hurt your server or your game. So you might have some issues with that. So maybe you don't want to make it as strong as this case, but it actually destroys a enormous nine by nine area. So 81 blocks per click. And additionally, since based on enchantments, you can already see I, I did a bit of mining already. It gives you tons of resources, and that's not and that's not just the um, it doesn't have silk touch. Those are additional resources actually. So yeah, it is crazy good. I can recommend it to everybody to make this. And um, yes, let's have a look how we can create this. So let's get over here to my showcase area. First of all, um, we have to make the tool itself. The best way to do this is, in my opinion, silent gear. And the pieces you need are a Paxel because it can destroy all resources. So you're not just stuck with a pickaxe, a tool rod, a grip, a binding, a tip and a coating. Those are all the options you have to improve the efficiency of it. The most important parts are those two. Those over there are like kind of accessories to make it even even faster. But in general, like already something like this would be enough. In total, you need five Azure Electrum ingots and two Signalum ingots. Those are the ones I picked here. Those are the fastest. Maybe to show that again, Azure Electrum ingot, you can get it through the end. You get, um, let me quickly take this. Oh, it landed there. You can make it out of Azure Silver, Gold, and a Ender Pearl. Azure Silver you can find at the end, and then you can make the Azure Electrum ingot. So this is the fastest one. Signalum also the fastest one, and each of them are the fastest options for each of the slots. So in total, if you want to make the best Silent Gear Paxel, those are the resources you will need. Um, and then we'll get to the upgrading part. So if you want to make your tools even faster, so not just having the base tools, but also make it extremely fast, um, then you are going to need to upgrade the resources. There are two ways to do that. Uh, one way is degrading, so um, let me quickly go to game mode. Um, you can grade your resources. As you can see here, my Azure Electrum ingot has no grade, or the grade is not graded. And now let me put in one of them. You can see that it will change. So it will go from um, not graded to D, which might not sound that good, but it's actually already better as not graded. So not graded gives us a harvest speed at 29, as, as you can see roughly in the middle. And this one gives us 29.58. So already an improvement. And it's these, I think, even the lowest one. How I normally to do this, you can already see like what um, that it restarted. You just like use the pipes tool and then like it just rotates it back and upgrades it over and over again. So if I put it back in, it's now keep upgrading, going to keep upgrading. And you can do that for all the resources. So each of them, and even the multiple ingots, so every one of them should get upgraded. And the maximum, let's get to that. Um, we can use the time in the bottle to speed up every single block in the game. As you can see, it's way faster. And it burned through all the um, resources. Let's get a second stack quickly for this. As you can see, it can take quite some time to get the maximum, which is the highest um, grade you can get. So the comparison between those two stages is 29 to 37.7. So we get an a additional 8.7 in harvest speed. So definitely recommendable to do this. And then the second thing you can do is the starlight charger to enchant the materials even further. Um, of all, maybe to help uh, for the people who have not used silent gear and who are using the ad, uh, older mods mod pack, 
you can find um, kind of the quest system, how to get to all of those parts uh, in here. For instance, here you have the grader, and then here's the Starlight Charger. And there are three stages for that. You have like, um, which you can unlock. The best one is logically the last one here, Starlight Charger with the uh, Tyrian Steel Cap and the Star Metal Dust, which I also forgot. So let's also quickly get that, one of those, to showcase how it works. So first of all, you need this kind of multi-clock um, setup. So you have the starlight charge in the middle and then two blocks diagonally, and then you build a pillar of two high and add the block um, of the cap on top. And um, then you can char charge it. It's going to charge through during the night. So as you can read here, gains charge when exposed to starlight. So only during the night, this bar will fill up. And, but you can do the enchanting at all the times, as you can see here, it's now going to fill it up and we can just speed it up again. Uh, so big uh, um, advice to use the time in the bottle, it's really helpful. And now we have the maximum Azure Electrum Ingot, also you can see um, the speed up also boosts the charging. So if you're tight on time, you can just charge also the charger even quicker and let's go back out of game mode now you can see the difference between a fully maxed out as to electrum ingot and a not graded not enchanted ingot so we go from 29 to 51.2 so not quite double the speed but definitely um, a huge improvement and you would do this for every single ingot and for every single ingot and for every single material so at the end, when you have all of those pieces together, you would then assemble it. So those are the blueprints you will need. That's the same ones you saw at the front. I'm just going to quickly do it with the resources I have because I'm not going to charge all of them. But um, now we're just assembling all of them. So we have the tip, I already did the paxel, the glowstone tip, the netherite coating. Then we have the Binding, which is the fine silk. Oh, no, wrong one. Is the air silk, sorry. Um, then we have the grip blueprints. Then we have the grip, right? And then we have the tool rod with the signal. Now we have all the pieces. So we are going to first of all combine the Azure Paxel head with the signal and tool rod, which it gives us our tool with a half speed of 30 and the max level on harvest level. I can already tell you, this tool would already be enough. Like if you don't want like the server to lag or your game to crash, you might not even need all the additional upgrades. I'm going to do it now because, well, what are we playing this game for if you don't want to like max, min max everything. So this is the almost min max. So now we are at 63. So even without the maxing, we are at 63. To showcase the maximum you can get is 141. So if you fully max out everything, all the resources you get to 141. So that's another double speed of what we currently have here. And that's it to sell in gear. So this is how you would build your the perfect base for the tool. And now we get to the really important part, how you can get like the big uh, destruction area. Because right now this would be a like a quick tool, as you can see, but it's not destroying more than one by one. It, this can already be really useful, but um, I want to, especially for the mining world, having a really destructive tool is the best. So we're going to go for enchantments. Those are the enchantments you can use for your pickaxe or other main ones. There's also soul bound, I think, but I've not died in the game so far, I think, so it's not really that important to me but logically you can add it in. And um, so, yeah, we're going to use the library of Alexandria. This is from the Apotheosis uh, mod. It's not especially needed, but um, like the, uh, the library is not needed, but it's the best way to get the enchantments on one book. So we have the, we're going to put Unbreaking, Boon of the Earth. This gives you the ores additionally to the ores you mine. So you just, out of pure stone, you get ores which is really helpful. Then we add efficiency to make it even faster, fortune, mending, and then we get to the important one, which is excavating. So excavating is 
harvesting an additional block in a radius. So this is already going to give us let's enchant it. This is already going to give us a three by three area. So this is already a improvement to what we have just now. And now we get to the final upgrade. So to do this, you need um, a couple of items, which is Again, this is apotheosis, so you need gem dust, which you can get from gems, like if you put gem in a salvager, which I don't... Ah, I do, yeah. If you put it inside of here, you get the gem dust, and then you need uh, rarity material. The same thing you get from different mobs, you get different rarities of tools and weapons and armor, and then you can deconstruct them, and then you get different rarities. So I can maybe quickly showcase that. I could type. As you can see here, there's different stages, and the ones I, we're going to use in this case is the Godforge one, which is the highest one, and the Scrap Metal, because the lowest one, and we are like in a normal mode, you would want to use the lowest one to um, switch the enchantments, but I will get to that. So let's start with the Wheat Forging. Oh, I already had the Godforge pearls here. I was looking for them. Um, so the Reforging, let's have a look. How does it look like? It's going to add a separate kind of enchantment to your tool or to your weapon besides the already existing enchantments. So for this one, which is with the common ones, the enchantments are almost not visible. So you have at the bottom reach distance plus 75 or 0 0.75. If you're going to do the God Pearl one, which is the good one uh, or the best one, we're going to have um, way better enchantments. And we're also already most likely going to pick this one and I will explain in a second. So the three, or there are four important points for the max level enchantment, what you want to have. I will start from the bottom. We have first the sockets. Um, the sockets is where you can put the gems, the ones we deconstructed beforehand. And three sockets are the most and we definitely want to have those three sockets. Then one I care about a lot is the base experience gain, as you can, uh, as you saw uh, in the introduction at the beginning. The tool can give you lots of experience relatively quickly, especially if your other ways of getting experience are kind of maybe not there, or like you didn't build like a um, mob farm yet. This could be a really quick way to get like a hundred levels um, in like I don't know a couple of minutes um, without any issues. Um, so you normally you want to have a high value. This one we have right now is relatively low for a Godforged level. It should be 200. 200 is the maximum. You can, like, if you don't find it, because it can take a lot of time to find a perfect enchantment. But um, I would say maybe you should aim for like 185 to 200. And then we get to the upper ones. So the upper ones are more random. Um, so we have this block breaks in a 5x5 area which is really important for us because this is the area we want, uh, like the base area we need. Then on block break, gain haste free, which is also really good. Like it makes it even faster. Socket at three is the three sockets at the bottom. And then this item ignores 47% of durability damage, makes it just survive a bit longer and not too important. The important ones are here, the area and the haste. Um, especially areas really important to haste since the tool is normally already really fast you don't have to have haste 3 even if you have haste 1 or haste 2 that should also be fine and yes so we're going to take this enchantment and our tool is almost there we have almost the uh, thing we want to have but let's if we have a quick look uh, let's take it do it at a spot where we have more space uh, there's everywhere something's missing below them Ah, this one was a good one, but it's not doing what I want to do. Um, so actually the area it's now destroying is still, yeah, now this one was a good one. It's still um, not what we want. So it's still, um, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven by seven. The reason for that is we have the five by five and the excavating is adding a additional, um, like radius around it. So it adds one on this side, one on this side, one on this side, one on this side. So out of the five by five, we get the seven by seven, but we can make it even better. 
to do this, we need a gem. And it is a rare one. So far in the game, I only found uh, one, which is this one. It's the Flawless Ender Surge gem. It is unique um, because if it wouldn't be unique, uh, it would be completely broken. Um, so you can only put it in once into this tool. So you still have the two, two other sockets left. And this one is adding two levels to each enchantment. And that's the, uh, that's the game breaking part here, which makes it so, so much uh, better. And then the other two slots to, uh, to quickly talk about the other gems and the other sockets you have. Um, what I like to use is the Splendor gem, and it's going to add base experience gains to your tool. So if you have, for example, 200 base experience gain, the maximum, plus the two enchantments, plus two max level Splendor gems, you're going to have 350% 350 more experience gain. So I don't know, like if you destroy one uh, ore of coal, you're going to reach like level 50. Uh, it's completely broken. And um, to get the high level of gems, you normally have like four levels, same for the, as for the equipment. And you can upgrade it from one level to another. So you need gem dust and also the um, gravity materials, and then you can increase the facets. When the facets reach the max of their rarity, you can improve the rarity. So you, then you need two common max level or max facet to make a one uncommon one. And then you do the same thing. You make max level facets and then you can upgrade. And you can see actually with this one, the flawless one, that's the maximum of facets you can have. So it's also having going to have like this kind of enchanted glow around it to showcase, okay, you need now two blue ones and then you would get actually the uh, purple one in the middle. I forgot about that one. And then you get the epic one at the end. But let's do the last thing we have to do to make this uh, amazing tool, which is going to add the enchantment. Um, so we have the tool, we're going to add the plus two to all existing enchantments. And now we have our tool. Um, so as you can see, it's actually just showing a seven by seven radius, but it's just drawing in a way bigger one. So um, sometimes I have the feeling it's not perfect in the way it's destroying the things, but I think now it should be. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So sometimes, as you can see, it's not perfectly destroying the a square, but uh, I'm kind of confused. But yeah, it's that's the maximum you can get now. Yeah, no, I think it's the right one now. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, uh, this is the tool. Um, I thought it's a nine by nine. I'm not sure why it's not doing the 9 by 9 for me. As you can see, it's kind of already at the area where it's kind of broken. And depending on where you're standing, maybe if I do it like perfectly, yeah, it's kind of off offset sometimes. But even if it's 8 by 9 instead of 9 by 9, this tool is uh, definitely going to help you mine deep, deep pits and get you tons of resources. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, it's my first video about or well, anything actually, and um, yeah, I was kind of really excited about this pickaxe, about this tool I kind of worked on over the last uh, couple of Minecraft days. I played the game and I kind of experimented with the different um, parts. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. If you have any suggestions to make it even better, or if you say like, okay, I have a way better tool, or I use a tool from a different mod actually, uh, definitely let me know. Um, and that's it. I wish you lots of fun with this tool and with Minecraft and wish you a great week. Thank you.